All right, I am just about ready to leave. I've got my cooler there. I've got some bottled water. I've got my workout equipment on the left side and clothes, bathroom stuff, and pet stuff. Here we have the puppers traveling in style in an impact collapsible dog crate. And then here we have the kitties. And I really hope that they do not take a dump mid drive, but I do have cleaning solution ready and paper towels and poop bags in case that happens. Oh, he's hissing. She's hissing. I think. Oh, I saw her mouth open. I'm gonna just leave her there until oh, she chills out. Oh, she's a boy girl, that's the question. I know, I don't know. Oh, he's behind it! Tits, <laughs> it's on top! <laughs> she's, yeah, Jose said that too. She's good at looking at the camera. Right line, right line. <laughs> so it's me, how to name the girl, I don't know. Um... Valera just sounds kind of like very menacing and is not a menacing guy. Valera? <laughs> It's an assassin mm. rogue tits. Yeah, that's true. Team is a friendly mushroom guy. Oh, I love it now. No. 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 Good. So, Boy Kitten started getting a little brave, but I don't want her to approach them because she's pretty menacing and big. How do you turn on that light this way? Yeah. Oh, perfect. He's like so funny in life. Well, let me think. Yeah, I think so. Why is your water so hot? Riley. No, no. Let's go, kids, go. Yes, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her out. I'm gonna crate her also. Milo. <laughs> What's the matter with you, man? He would never survive in the wild. <laughs> He's growling upside down. You see that? <laughs> it's the perfect video. Milo. Milo. Oh! Who's hissing? Milo. Kitten's not hissing. Um, no. Kitten's not making any noise. Is that? That's, that's it. Ooh! Really? It's Holy so crap. Quiet. Ah. Oh my goodness. Aww. Holy crap. I wonder what his meal is gonna sound older. That's wow. <laughs> ah. Oh, oh, they're both. Oh, he's playing with his hair. The tufts of hair. He's playing with it. Oh, the word. Thing is oh, he did. She the, did. Huh? That's a he. Right? No. Oh, that's He's right. wet. Still wet. Oh, geez. oh, no. I didn't catch that. Milo did that too, actually, where he like randomly just. Well, what is. Oh, so the ball is actually. It actually is. They're actually playing it. I'm, I'm, that's amazing. I'm yeah. So she's actually liking the chip. Look, he's turning around. Come join the feast. Hello. Just bring him over. The pieces are small enough, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh shit, this is a lot. This is... I'm pretty sure this is the girl on that side. That's the girl? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So wow, they, so they like the chicken. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Some of these chickens are there. These chickens that I have some cutting are definitely smaller. Good. What? What? Oh, well, not that. That's cat food. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
She just made a sudden movement and it startled them. I bet you if I played with her, they would be scared too, because you know how jumpy she is when she plays. Yes. See? <laughs> With the uh, downstairs? Is there, there is someone downstairs, right? No, it's the garage. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a good thing I'm living on the second floor and third floor that would be weird. Hmm? I found that. Hi, good morning, guys. Uh, it is, ooh, 11 11. So let's make a wish. No, I'm kidding. I don't do stuff like that. So right now, my brother brought his kittens to the vet. And I didn't really want to go with because I wanted to work out, I wanted to shower, and I'm going to take Rylai on a walk shortly. Um, but I just was so tired yesterday that he said that the appointment was at 10 a.m. And I'm like, no way am I going to wake up or something like that. And actually, I hate the vet, so why would I want to voluntarily go there? I guess the main thing that I'm surprisingly struggling with, which is something that I did not even think of, is that me and my brother, our temperatures are really different. I get very cold easily and I like it hot and he's the complete opposite. So ever since I've gotten here, it's been cold in his apartment and um, I'm not sure I have the proper clothing to keep myself fully warm. But also at the same time, I hate bundling up indoors because I don't like getting pet hair all over my clothes. That's why I try to make sure I have as much skin out as possible that way I like, I don't give a fuck about the hair, um, but there's four cats and um, Rylai here, so there's hair everywhere. Um, Milo has been hanging out in the bathroom. He's really bad when it comes to change. So when Sammy came home from the vet, the one time he got his tooth extracted, Milo was treating him like a hostile enemy because he smelled different. So Milo was hissing and grumbling for mm, maybe three days. So he's like that right now. He's in the bathroom. He's been in there and I would prefer if he stays in there because I don't want him to be in the living room like the whole time because that's what he's doing. Give him time to adjust. Um, I really, really wanted to find a field for Riley to run in for fetch and I wanted to use my brother's drone to capture footage of it because I just think that would look really cool. and. The problem with that is I just don't know where to find a place that um, allows for that because there's all these rules. I don't know anything about drone rules. I've never used one. I never really had interest in buying one, but since he conveniently has one and never really uses it, he uses it for when he goes traveling and it's an expensive drone. So I was like, let's put it to use. But <clears throat> maybe later when he gets back, we will go out and drive and find a place or we can record her playing fetch because I just think that would make for really cool footage and it's, it would just look really cool. Truthfully, I am not really that animal focused, I guess. I don't know, like I'm a very calm, chill person around pets. Maybe initially I was really excited about the kittens, but now um, I kind of just want to sit here and do stuff instead of fixating on the cats so much so you know kittens they're so small and they keep going into all these like small corners and stuff like that i don't want to follow them around right i'd rather if they wanted to interact with me they can come up to me but i'm not going to follow them around the apartment um i think my excitement for them has already waned in that aspect so i'm just gonna coexist with them um and plus i'm I, I would probably find it tiring if I'm just trying to chase them around the whole time with a camera or trying to take a bunch of pictures of them. Plus, they actually haven't interacted with Ryla yet. So when they finally do, I would like to capture that. But in the meantime, they're just keeping their distance. They are gradually getting closer to her. They like sniff her feet and then they run away. Um, I've been making sure that she does not um, appear pushy. So. Yeah, she's a gentle dog and I trust her, but I still need to advocate for the cats. So, for example, when she first arrived, she started sniffing into their cat bed, which is like this big dome thing. I'll show you guys later. Um, and they were both inside and that sticking her nose inside there is pushy 
and not very pleasant if you think about it. If you're a small thing and this bigger animal comes over and just starts sniffing, that's pretty intimidating, first meeting too. So I backed her off from doing that and just like I'm not letting her aggressively sniff at them, like pushing their, her nose in their face. I don't let her do that. So for now, I'm not going to let her approach them. She can stare at them because I trust her on not acting on staring. Like her staring is no longer predatory, it's more like observant. Yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Um, had some delicious Taiwanese food from this local place and I really hope we get more. There's actually some left over in the fridge I can eat, but um, I would still like to get more because they're pork, because they're pork rice bowl, I really, really like. And um, the variety of vegetables that they sell. I love vegetables. So anytime I go to a Chinese restaurant, vegetables is going to be high on my list of what I want to eat there. But um, in the meantime, I'm going to take her for a walk and hopefully it's warm outside. I'm just tired of being cold. Um, it's such a dilemma. I, I find it difficult to ask him to not have the AC on so high, but honestly, I'm just like really annoyed and unhappy about it. My phone.